Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you my skincare routine or part of it. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I kind of get my skin to be um, in the shape that it is, that I don't have to wear foundation and all that jazz. And I do take really good care of my skin. I drink a lot of water and everything. I think it is a little bit of my genetics. My mom and my grandmother have beautiful skin so I have been very lucky that way but I do use some products that I think definitely help me get there this is my skincare routine that I do once a week or once every other week depending how busy I get it's kind of like a refresher with more intense masks more intense moisturizers and serums and all that jazz so let's get going I'm just gonna show you a close-up of my skin right now I went and had a facial I think like two weeks ago and usually after a facial you break out a bit and that is what happened. I have kind of like two, they're gone now but it's like a scar of two dots down here. They tend to get pretty red and dark but they will go away probably in a week or two. I have an active pimple at the very tip of my nose and it actually hurts quite a bit. And then these two are gone, they're like flat, there's nothing there anymore but it's because they were kind of poked at and so it's left a little bit of a scar too, and so is this guy. Otherwise, my skin is pretty happy right now. So the first mask I'm gonna be using is the Blue Tansy from Herbivore. I picked it up from Sephora's sale a couple weeks ago, and I've been wanting to try, try Blue Tansy because everyone's saying how great it is, especially for like reducing red, like the redness in your skin and inflammation. So they recommend you to do it like two to three days in a row, I believe, and then you kind of taper off because it's like a resurfacing mask. I've been doing it kind of like once or twice a week. I find that if I did it more than like two days in a row, my skin got pretty dry. So you just kind of, even though the directions say some stuff, you really have to make sure that, like you have to double check how your skin's gonna react to it. So it's just like, I can't tilt it because it's quite in a liquid form. It's not like a, it's not a very thick mask. So I'm gonna put it on for you guys and you guys can kind of see. My skin is clean by the way. And that's why I'm applying this mask. You always have to clean your face first. So it went on pretty sheer. When I first put it on, it has a very, quite a strong smell. I like it. It's almost like a, kind of like a blue, like blue jello. You know what blue jello tastes like? This is what it smells like. It does have like a tingly kind of feeling. It goes on pretty cold, almost like a minty tingly, but there isn't mint in this, I don't believe. Okay, so this is what the mask looks like up close. It's pretty clear and thin, you see a little bit of blueness everywhere. Let's make sure to rub it in. So you leave this mask on for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna start a timer on my phone and I will see you in 15, 20 minutes to show you kind of, it does tighten and hardens, so. All right guys, so it's been about like 19 minutes. The mask is quite a bit tighter now. It's really hard for me to move my face, so sorry if I'm not smiling as much as I normally do. You can kind of see. It's gotten even shinier. All right, so now I'm gonna use some hot water slash like warm water to take it off. I usually use one of these cotton pads to just, I'm gonna start down here. Start wiping it off. Rather than just use water, using like a cotton pad is going to help you remove more of like the dead skin. You can use like a regular hand towel too, or face towel, I mean. You kind of see that it's a little bit blue there. And then one more wipe around and we should be good. Even from 19 minutes ago, you can see my face is so much more clear. It's insane. This mask is so good. Now that I'm done the mask and I can move my face again, I'm gonna put on some toner. 
I am on the hunt for a new toner, but this is still like one of my favorites. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. I'm also gonna use a cotton pad to put this guy on. I used to use my hands, but I find that I wasted a lot of product because I like went through my fingertips in the crevices and just kind of like ended up on my hand instead of my face. So next I'm going to be using the Sulawasu Activating Serum. It came, they, they sent it to me in the mail, so it was a gift, but my mom apparently has used them before and says that they're amazing. So I'm going to do like one to two pumps. The instructions tell me to put it like this so that it soaks in, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know if I'm doing it properly, but it seems to work. I'm going to put some on my neck. I think it just like really helps tighten my pores and kind of refreshes my skin. I'm really liking it so far. I don't use it every day. They kind of do suggest you use it every day, morning and night, but I kind of feel like I'm not at the point where I need to use it all the time and I know it's more of like an expensive product so I kind of like space it out. Okay, so next up I am going to be using one of my favorite products. This is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It's also just one of my favorite, favorite scents. Um, so you're supposed to use it before your moisturizer or kind of like throughout the day whenever you need a refresh on your makeup or even if you're not wearing makeup, it's a nice kind of spritz. So just shake it beforehand. I love the smell so much. Travis doesn't like it, but whatever. It has like, what does it have in it that I love so much? Um, it has rose, orange blossom, and balm mint, and rosemary. So that's just like, I think that's the scent that I love. Spray it on all day. Anyways, so that goes on before the moisturizer. I also used to have like a little bottle of this guy that I kept in my bag. I just ran out, so I need to go get a new a new little guy, but it's really handy to just have on you all the time, especially if you like do wear a lot of makeup and you are wearing it all day. It's nice to just like have it refresh because sometimes your makeup can get like cakey. Not a fan of that, so. So I'm really picky with my moisturizers. I was using Kiehl's for a very long time because it was the only thing that could calm my eczema that was like right here, here, and my neck. Um, thankfully my eczema has kind of calmed down for now, fingers crossed. And I moved on to like an Origins um, line of nighttime and daytime moisturizers. But now I'm gonna be trying the Biosense ones. I've heard really good things about it. This one is the Squalene Omega Repair Cream. So it's supposed to be like super moisturizing. You can use it daytime and nighttime. Uh, you just have to add a SPF if you are using it for day because this one doesn't have one. It's really nice kind of cream. Just put that on. I don't use this one every day, just FYI. It's kind of like only when I'm doing these treatments. It does smell kind of weird though, FYI. It's not like one of those really good smelling creams. Yeah, it's definitely moisturizing. Very rich cream. So last but not least is the Pat McGrath Lip Fetish Balm. It's honestly the best thing I've tried for my lips in a long time. It leaves like a really nice satiny finish and it's not sticky, it's not, doesn't taste like anything, doesn't smell like anything, so I think it's just perfect. All right guys, that was my skincare routine. That's kind of what I do once a week or bi-weekly. I don't use too many products. I have to be very careful with what I use because I have very sensitive skin and I have dry skin and I don't want to aggravate my eczema. So if you have similar concerns and definitely give these products a try, I will link them all below. Let me know if you've tried any of them or if you have other recommendations that you found really helpful. I'm always up for trying new products. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you love my videos and wanna see more, definitely give me a subscribe if you want to because it helps me so much. And I will see you all next time.